Hey everybody, this is Perch, and a bit of comic news uh, to go in for you. Mostly on the DC side, we're going to talk about the free comic book day and some other titles that they're putting out, things to look forward to as we head into the fall. But the other bit of news before we get there is uh, Spawn, uh, in particular Spawn Universe. This is the kickoff issue for what will be Todd's uh, shared Spawn Universe. I, it's a shared Spawn Universe, let's just call it expansion of the Spawn Universe. I think that's a little bit, probably a little bit more fair. At any rate, uh, Todd's giving some interviews to a number of people uh, discussing that uh, the comic is Image's best seller in 25 years. Basically, if you're just kind of doing the math, he's he's counting from, you know, about 1997, uh, 1996, uh, that kind of time period on. Basically taking away the initial launches of Spawn and uh, uh, Youngblood and Wildcats and, and so on. Uh, so the biggest, the biggest seller, he's basically saying this is, this is higher. So, um, what would that mean exactly in terms of sales? Well, um, it means, you know, not counting in and, uh, there's a lot of ways you could do this math and some of this is hype. So we don't know exactly how it is, but I think it's, it's a safe bet that, uh, you know, certainly Spawn, the Spawn universe uh, with the art talent and everything that it comes to the table with, that it's going to be a, a decent selling book, that it's going to do well. Um, so it's reasonable to assume this is a 200, 250 K at least, and probably higher based on what releases we've seen from other books. Um, either, uh, Scott Snyder's titles, uh, you know, what, what he's done or, um, also, you know, the things like Spawn 300 or the walking dead or books like that. If we're not counting in the 25 cent issue, which of course kind of warps everything, but then that wasn't a bestseller. That was a money loss, arguably, uh, because it was used for marketing. Regardless, um, big, big top selling issue in the last 25 years. It puts us, I think that puts us comfortably above 250,000, if that is true, um, and potentially higher than that. So there you go. So they, congratulations to Todd. Uh, that's, that's good selling. It shows there's interest certainly in Spawn and this expansion. And maybe even carve up a nice little nice little world for himself. Uh, the other thing that happened uh, is that we did get a trailer drop for uh, the Eternals, uh, which is Marvel's next movie. It's interesting because watching it, uh, it's fine. I mean, it you know, it's it's a Marvel movie. You're kind of signed up for Marvel, a uh, Marvel style at this point. It's 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 interesting because you you they're giving you kind of exactly what you would expect. Uh, they're not defying expectations. Um, uh, the Eternals has kind of the same kind of, you know, big sweeping vistas and, and shots and people in costumes that are made for the movies and, you know, some comedy at the end and they're eating. And, you know, it's a lot of it very much feels like something in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. And who knows, you know, more power to Marvel if they can uh, and Disney if they can make the Eternals go. I think uh, the Eternals is always going to be a riskier, weirder proposition than Guardians of the Galaxy. And I'll be I'll be a bit surprised if it does um, huge numbers. I mean, it depends on how starved people are just to have Marvel content at that point. Um, Black Widow is uh, it's going to be hard for that not to seem like an older movie, both because it it was it was actually done more than a year ago, and also because the character Black Widow is of course dead. So how does uh, how how will a prequel type film like that work exactly? We will see. But let's head over to DC. The first is that they've announced a uh, another Lobo book. So after after years of no Lobo, and then Lobo being a uh, a very strange version of him uh, in uh, the New Fifty Two, we've now got uh, suddenly DC has remembered they've got Lobo, and so we're getting Superman versus Lobo. It's a black label book, um, and this is being written by Tim Seeley uh, with Sarah Beatty and uh, Mirka Andolfo. Um, and we don't know exactly, uh, you know, I don't think we have a price point on it yet. Um, but you know, it's uh, no, never mind. We absolutely do. It's 6.99, 48 pages, black label, and there's going to be three issues here. And this is all in the, uh, the black label prestige format, which may mean we get to see Lobo's butt at some point, or at least some cursing. Um, but, uh, you know, first question, you can let me know in the comments below. Uh, are you excited about Lobo? Like it, it is, it is weird to me in, in comic companies where the, these characters and these ideas kind of just sit unused for you know quite a bit of time. And then remarkably, they suddenly they all, they, they start appearing again. And uh, they, they come all at once for, for no apparent reason. So it is a little weird. I, I like Lobo. I think the character is interesting. Um, 
you know, it's we don't know enough about it. It's uh, the cover features Superman and, and Lobo kind of struggling with a lot of uh, Beckstar uh, level lighting and some eyeballs in the sky kind of looking down. And, uh, you know, so so we'll see. We'll see how this all goes. Black label Lobo. Normally that would be a big, big success. But the art style looks a little bit more cartoonish. And uh, definitely, you know, this is as far away from Simon Bisley as you can kind of get. But it, you know what? I'm always in for seeing what we have in store with us for, for Lobo. So we'll see what we get there. Um, the other bit of the news for DC, and then we'll get back to one more thing for Spawn at the end here, is that uh, DC has kind of announced their four comics they're going to do on uh, Free Comic Day. Um, and that will come out on August the 14th, like everything else. Um, and the big two titles are going to be, and, and kind of brace yourself here, because you're not going to really believe this, uh, Batman. Uh, will be one of them. And this will be, this is for August. So it is, uh, Fear State starts in August, but this is going to be a little teaser with Fear State and for I Am Batman, the Jace Fox uh, version of Batman by John Ridley. And so we're getting uh, kind of two tastes of the storyline. Now, what's interesting is the, uh, we haven't really heard if these are new stories for this issue. It's I think people are assuming so. It's a Batman book. Fear State and uh, I Am Batman, free comic book day, very similar to what Marvel does of packing in the two comics into one. Um, but it's it's basically saying a first look at the epic Fear State event that will run across Batman titles in the fall. And we get kind of a, uh, a taste of the blockbuster storyline starring the newest Cape Crusader from John Ridley for, for Jace Fox. Um, but in both of these, it's interesting, the wording never really kind of identifies if this is new material or not. Um, you kind of, you kind of, I, I'm completely reading into it, so I, I have no evidence one way or another, but he kind of reads like maybe it's not, I'll, I'll just throw out there. Um, the, the, when you get, when people get very specific or, or leave out you know, certain things in the solicitations, I've, I've learned to get a little skeptical. So the second free comic book day is all suicide squad. So the first and, and primary story is a King shark story again by, uh, Tim Seeley who's also doing Superman Lobo from before, and Scott Collins. Tim Seeley is suddenly getting all kinds of DC work. Who knew? And then uh, a sneak peek at Suicide Squad Get Joker, the limited series by Brian Azzarello, Alex Malev. And uh, in this case, um, that second Get Joker limited series fee seems absolutely uh, like one that is is reprinted, that is, uh, or not reprinted, but, but it is a teaser as opposed to something new. It's a preview of the Suicide Squad Get Joker, which is all but telling you it's, it's you know, it's, 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 it's a preview. It's not a new story. Um, the, uh, the breakout character, Task Force S, King Shark, they really are believing that King Shark is going to be the, uh, you know, the, the breakout character of, of Gun Suicide Squad movie. Uh, and who knows? Uh, maybe it will be. So anyway, this, this comic as well, we're, we're assuming there's a new King Shark uh, story here because they listed a creative team that seems quite likely. The other two books that we're getting are uh, graphic novel previews. You've got Teen Titans, Beast Boy Loves Raven uh, for YA, and then the uh, Batman and Robin and Howard and uh, Amethyst, Princess of Jim World. So a little bit of, and, and these are all going to be uh, snippets of those books. So something for the kids, which is smart. Um, it's That's been one of those things where a lot of free comic day is parents taking their kids. So putting, uh, you know, basically kind of two books forward. Well, Beast Boy and Raven is more young adults, and then uh, Batman, Robin, and Howard, and Amethyst are definitely for younger kids. Amethyst looking very much uh, like a uh, manga style cover, so they'll they'll do all the rest. Everybody's using Beckstar coloring though. Um, anyway, so those are those are the news of some comics coming out. Um, the the last bit I said I'd, I'd I'd end on Spawn, start on Spawn, end on Spawn. Uh, supposedly. Uh, we are going to get news that there are some uh, Spawn movie and TV deals that are going to be announced imminently, as in in the next 30 days or so. So uh, there's, uh, there's, he believes that there's some TV development, TV shows, headlines coming out here in the next couple weeks, says Todd McFarlane. So if you love Spawn and you're all about, uh, you know, how all this can work together, um, Todd is, is going to do a full court press this summer and fall with new comics, uh, arguably some new toys, but also potentially a movie and TV information. So what are you interested in in here? Uh, DC's free comic book day, Superman Lobo, or are you just very excited for the success of Spawn, anxious to see more 
spawn material, spawn shows. Let me know in the comments below. Like and subscribe, and thanks for listening.